Got an interesting question from Dennis. Uh, I'm 62, child, and still throw the discus and shot competitively in Masters Trek and field meets. And he gives us, uh, he throws the discus 165, and he throws the 5K shot 45. That 165 is a solid throw, man. Uh, I'm lifting in our small community gym three days a week, and when it was closed, COVID turned to your kettlebell workouts. They kept me going. And now his question. I lift three times a week and throw one or two times a week. The only thing I'd say is flip that. But I would like to get your input as a fellow thrower about when an athlete should stop lifting as a big meat, meat approaches. Since the master schedule is spread out during the year, there, there could be a big meet every month. To be fully recovered and ready to compete, should I stop lifting a few days before a meet, a week before a meet? Well, this is the problem with being a 62-year-old athlete, is that you're going to have to figure this out. So I think it's perfectly okay for you to lift about 80% or even maybe less. Have a nice, tonic, good-feeling workout the day before a meet. Um, this is something we did at Utah State. We did 80% for a single, which is nothing. And I did the clean snatch and I think bench press or it might have been the snatch. It depended on the week. Um, sometimes the squat, but I found the squat didn't. After you snatch and clean, you don't need to do the squat too. Two days before the meet, I got to tell you, I just want you to sit around. I don't want you to do anything. Uh, uh, we, we, we call that tonic Thursday here. Um, but... If you're doing things like kettlebells, I think you can keep training on kettlebells, I mean, throughout the whole season. Uh, I agree, you know, things like the clean, the snatch, the power lifts, you're gonna have to edge that off probably. And you're gonna have to test this on yourself because I don't know what your recovery ability is like. But maybe, you know, maybe at first try to go, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna compete on Saturday of week four. Week one, power, power lift, Olympic lift. Week two, power lift, Olympic lift. Week three, kettlebells. Week four, Monday, a nice little kettlebell workout. Wednesday, just some, some you know, just get in, move around. Friday, the day before the meet, maybe some goblet squats, some kettlebell swings. Um, that, that's not bad right there, and then you're done. Uh, it can be that easy. If you feel like the lifting is still impacting you negatively, then slide to maybe just having that one, once a month uh, power lifting, Olympic lifting meet. It's a complicated concept, uh, uh, Dennis, because I think as a master athlete, your hard days are the comp are the competition day. That's when you want to go for it. And I learned this as an Olympic lifter. Um, you know, you need to be, you know, you need to always keep twenty to thirty kilos, um, forty to sixty-five pounds, seventy-five pounds uh, away from your what the, the lifts you're going to attempt at a meet. And when I say out loud, I'm like, wait, you believe that, Dan? Yeah, for a master athlete, because you just don't have that many in the engine anymore. Uh, hey, good luck. Uh, try it out and then get back to me. I would like to see you throw a little bit more often than you, you should not be lifting three days a week and throwing once or twice. You should be throwing a lot more. Throwers throw. Jumpers jump. Hurlers hurl. Thank you very much.